Hello, thank you for joining me for this video. My name is Daphna, I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist and usually you see me this close <laughs> because I do a hair and makeup tutorials mainly uh, but today I'm doing something a bit different um, as you can see by the setting it's not gonna be <laughs> a cooking uh, video uh, I'm just in my kitchen because I'm about to leave and take you on a wonderful tour of Vegas but from a very like vintage a lover's perspective so this is gonna be a great video for anyone visiting Vegas or anybody who ever wants to come to Vegas or even if not this is gonna be a video of me taking you through fun things to do in Vegas if you love vintage or just other random stuff that I like it's not gonna be super long because I feel like you can do so much but I'm gonna kind of like refine it to like things that are kind of in the same area or that are just my favorites and uh, hopefully this is helpful for you and if you're not planning to come to Vegas and you still just wanna uh, come along to like a fun day uh, that I'm gonna have uh, with my husband Alonzo so you're welcome to keep watching this video this is actually a direct request that I got uh, on my last video comments so I'm not just telling you to comment and let me know what you want to see I'm actually following through I got a comment requesting to see a little bit of my life in Vegas and then I kind of had two different ideas one was of this kind of vintage uh, fun day in Vegas like things to do, uh, where to shop all these things I'm gonna show you in this video another idea was to more like walk you through a day in my life more like a normal day in my life and uh, not like just you know doing all the fun stuff and then I did a little poll in my uh, community tab on YouTube and the results were kind of close but uh, definitely people wanted more of the vintage day and I feel like that's a good video to start with but now I'm definitely uh, planning to do both so let's see how this goes and uh, based on that I'll probably uh, do a day in my life kind of video soon as well let me know in the comments of course if this sounds interesting to you or if you have any like specific requests uh, regarding that video also this video is filmed on my iPhone uh, usually I use like a very professional camera and microphone and everything so I hope uh, the sound will be good just as I'm saying this my air conditioning just started uh, working so I hope uh, it doesn't make too much noise also I really wanted to do like a vintage appropriate uh, kind of look and I've been working on this dress for uh, a few probably weeks actually just because I haven't really been sewing so I cut it a while ago and I just like got to sewing it and I finished it this morning just uh, to wear it today uh, because this pattern is a 1940s pattern and this fabric is a fabric I actually found on Etsy and it's like kind of like a Ryan kind of fabric very very lightweight which is perfect because it's right now it's like August in Vegas if you know anything about it it's like you can barely leave your house uh, in this weather so this is a really nice like lightweight uh, fabric and I have like 1940s like actual vintage dresses and this feels very similar so I'm like very proud of my uh, fabric choice and pattern choice and everything so this is uh, what I'm wearing today I'm also wearing this beautiful hairnet um, that has like tiny rhinestones in it this is by uh, Jenny Dame so on Instagram her name is a wearable art by Jenny Dame and she makes this costume a uh, hairnet and it's really nice because I had my hair in rollers and then I just like really quickly brushed it out and put it in a hairnet without uh, too much uh, like work and then I don't need to worry about it throughout the day because we're gonna be like walking around uh, many different places and driving and everything so uh, my hair is like super long right now and I didn't wanna like have to worry about it too much uh, I'm wearing a vintage hat, vintage earrings, very uh, true vintage today for you <laughs> for this video. Maybe I'm like mixing eras a bit, but that's okay. I feel like it's part of the fun, being uh, like a bit eclectic. And uh, you're also gonna see my husband, Alonzo, who is very eclectic and uh, he always finds like the coolest stuff uh, in vintage stores. So we'll see if we find something today. Uh, we are a bit on a budget I don't know if we'll actually like spend money today or just like have fun and walk around um, but stay tuned and we'll find out together so let's go because we live next to Paradise Palms which is a historic neighborhood in Las Vegas and this neighborhood has a lot of really beautiful mid-century houses some of them are pink even 
uh, so we took a little detour just so I can show you uh, a bit of the houses this is Alonzo, my husband, who's driving us around today so we're currently driving from Paradise Palms towards downtown Las Vegas I feel like a lot of people come to Vegas and kind of stay uh, in the strip area but actually downtown is the best and uh, it's very vintage so today we're gonna be focusing on that area so currently we're driving north on Maryland and we're also taking a little turn into this beautiful neighborhood this neighborhood is called Huntridge and it's also very beautiful and has mid-century houses and has this beautiful pink house that I really love driving by and coincidentally this is right uh, behind our store so first stop we're gonna be making is in my beautiful shop Daphne Beauty, if you come to Vegas, of course, you have to come visit us first thing. So this is our boutique. It's not open every day, but you can find us on Google Maps and uh, see what our current hours are. And if you're here and we're open, you have to come visit us. This boutique is so cute. Everything is pink, vintage inspired. We have this beautiful vintage display case that we sourced and we're very proud of and we renovated it inside you can see all our beautiful products displayed starting from our eyeshadow palette our mascara some eyelashes in cute poodle compact we even have some press on nails by maraschinos of hollywood we have our vintage with a twist lipsticks and our blush and highlighter palette it's called rose glow and the matching brush we have perfect red liquid lipstick and brush, this beautiful mug designed by Daniel Mann and some of our lipsticks, a lot of them are out of stock at the moment but should be restocked soon and all our testers, so definitely if you're around you should come just to swatch and shop in person and not just online. Another beautiful mug by Daniel. We have this cute swatch me neon sign. We also have a super cute poodle room. So this is our beauty room where we have some brides getting ready and offer some hair and makeup services by appointment. This is where I keep my vintage poodle figurines collection. And we have also a poodle wallpaper and whatever we can find that is poodle related. Uh, we have in this room to keep the theme going. I have my vintage hair dryer and we have a small coffee and drinks area as well and we have another mystery door so this is actually our office this is where all the action happens this is where we pack orders and ship them out we have michelle helping us twice a week but it might be a bit too messy for this video maybe in a future video i'll show it after you visit us you can drive towards the art district is super close like four minutes drive and there you have Rockin' Betty, which is a retro clothing brand. And right next to it, you also have Glam Factory, which is a vintage clothing store. And it has really amazing finds and it's like Vegas prices. It's not too expensive and you have really good quality vintage. Here is Stephanie and her cute cat greeting us. You can already see this place is packed from accessories of every kind you can imagine to vintage clothing, men's, women's, whatever you're looking for. Uh, there's so much here in this very small store. It's really amazing. I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with vintage nylon scarves. They're perfect for abdus. Of course, Alonzo found something to try on, this really cool jacket. And look at all these beautiful, colorful dresses. There is also tons of jewelry and also Alonzo found this uh, 1970s suit, but it was too small. Moving on. So we drove more towards Main Street, but we parked uh, next to the Cotarian, which we're gonna visit uh, soon. But basically I would just suggest you park in one of the side streets because 
Main Street is one of the only places in Vegas where it's kind of hard to find parking sometimes. So we're walking towards Main Street where you can find two different antique malls, tons of vintage shops, all kind of next to each other, also kind of different for Vegas. Vegas is very big, very spread out, but this street is pretty walkable. You have a really big Buffalo exchange on this street, some nice bars and a tattoo shop and just random vintage stores that are really worth checking out. One of our favorite stores on this street is the Red Cat. It has really, really nice vintage clothing and a very large variety. It has anything from dresses to tops, pants, men's, women's, and some accessories as well. I even saw this really cute belt, but it was tiny. <laughs> they even have some cool bags and suitcases and trunks and hats and really a lot of things to check out. And they have another full room that it took me a while to realize it even exists. Look at all these colorful men's shoes. It's so beautiful to look at. And of course, I also found some cool suits. And I was kind of eyeing these sweaters. Maybe I'll come back before fall. They also have some records and a cute sitting area. Next, we're walking towards an antique mall. There's a really cute skate shop on the way and some random Vegas stuff. There's a really popular antique mall that is called Antique Alley Mall, but honestly, I've never found anything there that I like. So I actually like this one. It's a bit smaller. It's called Main Street Peddlers Antique Mall. And I did find some like poodle figurines and some lady head vases in the past. So I usually go back to places I actually found things I liked in. They have tons of kitchenware and stuff for your home, but also clothing. And there is also one room that is kind of like just for costumes. So it's really cool. Of course, Elon's already found a cool suit from this booth that had some men's clothing. I feel like he just finds more stuff because he's more eclectic and likes different eras and a lot more like 70s stuff. And I'm always looking for 40s and 50s. So I find it way harder to find cool stuff, but I always like finding beauty related stuff. I found this random appliances and this lipstick and hairbrush. So that's always nice to look at and check out all these pastel aprons and this crazy prom dress. Also, one of the most interesting booths in this antique mall is this Vegas memorabilia. Everything here is from different casinos. A lot of them already closed down and just like the most random souvenirs you can find, like these matchbooks, small slot machines, just every casino and hotel memorabilia you can think of you can find in this booth and it's a really cool gift to bring someone if you're visiting vegas this booth that you can easily recognize by all the kit cats is where i found really cool stuff in the past as you can see by this lady head vases next we're taking a break from all the antique and vintage shopping or just looking and we're gonna eat at the Coterian. So this is a vegan restaurant that serves taco and burritos and Mexican food, obviously. And it's so, so good. I especially recommend the fish taco, vegan fish, of course, with mango, pico de gallo. It's so good. And I also got a horchata iced coffee to go. It's also amazing. Once it gets a bit dark, I recommend heading to Fremont Street. So we just drove past it and made a quick detour towards the Neon Museum just to show you how cool it is from the outside, uh, but we didn't really have time for a full tour. And again, once it gets darker, it's so much nicer and you see all the neons. This is the Fremont Street experience. It's usually super busy and touristic, so we don't actually go inside, but we did go to the Circa Hotel. 
uh, just because they have the Vegas Vicky's sign and I've been wanting to see it in person for a long time. But in general, if you just walk through Fremont or the Fremont Street experience, you're gonna see tons of the vintage original neon signs of different casinos. You can also have a drink at this round bar that has the view of Vegas Vicky's neon sign. But we actually chose to check out their rooftop. It's actually at the 60th level, so the elevator was too fast. <laughs> but once we got there the view was so amazing even just from the inside once you get out of the elevators but we're gonna check out the balcony in a second first of all we're stopping by the bar which feels super vintagey and fancy and it's definitely a good place for like a date night or to meet some friends. Uh, I actually haven't been drinking for almost two years, uh, so I did get a mocktail, which was nice. They had those on the menu and we're right in time for sundown. So uh, we're getting like the best views. There's still light outside, but we are seeing all the neons and all the lights and it's a very like magical hour. I actually got a coffee based mocktail which kept me up all night uh, after the horchata iced coffee and now a coffee based mocktail i definitely uh, had trouble falling asleep uh, but it was so worth it like look at this sunset it's so beautiful and alonso is like definitely living his best life this is a good place to actually see the city you can see the strip in the distance and you'll see downtown just underneath you so uh, it's a good place if you're just getting to know Vegas to kind of understand uh, where everything is from above. And the lights at the entrance of the Circa are so beautiful. I don't know if the video really does them justice, but it definitely feels super vintagey. And to finish off, I just want to walk you through the other side of Fremont before actually the busier side. This is the area where Shooting Chapel is, our friends, uh, and you have some like abandoned motels and it's just a really cool area. And you also have Ferguson's. This is actually an old motel turned into like a small shopping center with some boutique stores, restaurants, coffee shops. And of course, now it's finally dark, you can see the neons. And there's also Container Park, which has this crazy, like, fire spitting grasshopper, I guess. <laughs> Not even sure what it is, uh, but it's also like a small shopping center. And now that it's dark, we're driving again through Fremont, more towards the Fremont Street experience, through El Cortez. And you can really see all the neon signs in their full glory. And really the video doesn't do this justice. It's so beautiful to see in person all the neons and just everything uh, really comes to life actually when it's dark. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this useful. Save it for later whenever you come visit Vegas. Thank you for watching and kisses.